at geometry. These are notes on trigonometry, how to use the trig ratios to find a missing side link. So check it out. I'm going to show you how to do it using Desmos calculator. All right. So let me uh, make these smaller. All right, cool. So first thing, these are old notes from years prior. Okay. Oops. And if you watched the note from the note video from last class, I did a bunch of stuff from here. Showed you how to set up the trig ratios. Okay. Now, how do we type this into our calculator? Okay. So use your calculator to find these trig ratios. Now you should be able to just type these in a calculator, but you want to make sure that it's in degrees mode. So let's use the calculator that we have, which is Desmos. Now, remember, if you go to desmos.com, if you click graphing calculator, that's not going to give you the calculator you need. You need the scientific calculator. So if you click math tools at the top left, the second thing says scientific calculator. So the website right here, if you see it, is desmos.com slash scientific. Okay? So that's very important that you know how to get to your calculator. You can use another calculator if you want, but it has to be in what's called degrees mode. Does everyone see right here in the middle? Let me uh, zoom this in. Okay. Right here, it says DEG for degrees. If we click it, it's going to say RAD for radians, and we do not, no, 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 not want to be in radians, okay? So as long as you're, you know you're in degrees mode, you're solid, okay? Now let's go back to the problem. It says what's the sine of 30 degrees? So all we got to do is press sine. Now you'll see it on the bottom left here, okay? Do you see how this is sine, cosine, tangent? Now, it looks like sin, cos, and tan, but it stands for sine, cosine, and tangent. If you click functions, it's also there at the top, sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, and It should be on this main screen, these three right here. So again, what are we going to type? We're going to type sine of 30 degrees. So let's do that. I'm going to click sine. I'm going to type 30. I'm going to hit enter. It already showed up, but there it is, 0.5. Now, if I click this, it'll convert it to a fraction, but I don't need it as a fraction. 0.5 is great. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to write in 0.5. And again, my writing will be ugly because I'm on a laptop. It is what it is. All right, next one. Tan, the tangent of 45 degrees. So let's, let's do this next one. Tan, 45, gives me 1. Cool. Cosine 60 degrees. Again, you should be able to type this in. Cos or cosine of 60, 0.5. Okay? So you got to be able to type these in to Skyward, sorry, Skyward, to uh, Desmos, our calculator. Okay? Now, what we did last time with making trig ratios, and we did an assignment on Khan Academy. If you did not finish the Khan Academy assignment, you should definitely go do that. It's only four questions long. Okay? But now I'm going to show you how to do this by setting it up. There are always two ways you might see this problem. So it's very important that you follow along here. Okay? So when we're doing these types of problems, we want to first identify. Oops, no, 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 no. We want to first identify what is our starting angle. Okay. Now we never care about the 90 when we're thinking of the starting angle. So do you see that our initial angle right here is 55 degrees, right? Just like last class, you've got to be able to label O, H, and A, which means opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. So you're going to start at that angle they give you. You're going to go across and label O. Okay? Then you're going to start at the 90. And remember, O stands for opposite. This is opposite from your original angle. And then from the 90... You're going to draw an angle, an arrow across. And remember, across from the 90 is called H for hypotenuse. And then you have one leftover side, which is right next to your starting angle. Right next to, another word for that is A, uh, adjacent. Okay, so the first step is always label O, H, and A, right? All right. And here's the deal. When you're doing these types of problems, uh, there is... Sometimes there's one you don't need, okay? Now I want you to look at O, H, and A. Do you see how O has an X right here? Do you see how H has a number right here? But A has nothing. 
If there is nothing there, cross it out. I do not care about it if it's not part of the labeled things, okay? Now, we talked about last time, Sokotoa, right? I said it right here. It was on your last video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it off to the side here. I'm going to write it a little different. So, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Ka, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then Toa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at back to num number 10 here. I mean, it's not really numbered, but back to this one right here. Okay? Right here. Okay? Now, there is no A, right? So all I have is O and I have H, right? So you tell me which one of these three, sine, cosine, or tangent, which one of these has an O and an H? Well, this one right here, right? So S is O over H, right? That's what I'm going to put over here. Sine is O over H. So here's the deal. I know this is going to be a sine problem, an S problem. Do you notice how I could not use C because that would have an A in it? I could not use T for tan because that has an A in it. If I have no number for A, I can't use the ones with A. Okay? So it can't be A, can't be A. So it's not cosine, it's not tangent, it has to be sine. Okay? So here's how you set it up. You write sine, S-I-N, so you first write the trig, then you write the angle. Angle did we start at? Oh, we had 55. And then you put equals, so you put the trig, then you put the angle, then you put equals, and then you're going to do this ratio right here, O over H, okay? So what is O and what is H? Well, O is X, and H is 25.5. All right. So, this is a situation where X is on top of a fraction. Okay, now to solve this, we got one more step. Okay, I need to get X by itself. So, how do I get rid of a divided by 25.5? What's the opposite of dividing? Multiply. Okay, so I'm going to put times 25.5. Those are opposites and they cancel out, which is great. But if I do it on one side, I'm going to do it on the other side. Times 25.5. So here's what I'm going to type in my calculator. Okay, I know that x equals. Sine 55 times 25.5. So you see how all, you have all that there. Now you want to type that into Desmos. Sine 55 times 25.5. Sine 55 times 25.5. All right, 20.89. All right, so 20.89. All right, so there's that. Cool. Now, let's do the same thing over here. See if it's a little, it's a little bit different. No, don't do that. Back up. And remember, I'm going to remember. So, ka, toa. All right. So, what is my starting angle? So, I got this angle is 60. So, I need to label the opposite side. Start at 60. And I like to draw my little arrow across. This is my... O, and then go to the 90, 
across from 90 is H, and then my last missing side is A. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Sorry, one second. All right, so now which side has nothing labeled? Well, O has 10, H has X, but A has nothing. So I'm gonna get rid of A. Cool. So, here's the deal. Since there's no A, I don't care about A, so there's no cosine. I don't care about A, so there's no tangent. So this is another one that is a O and an H. It has to be so S, which is sine, right? So I'm gonna type, or sorry, write S-I-N, sine. So it's the trig first, then the angle. What's the angle? Remember, the starting angle right here was 60 degrees. equals, and remember, sine is O over H. So now I'm going to write the O over the H. Now be careful. What is labeled O here? Well, O is actually 10, and H is actually X. Now this is crazy, okay? This is different than the last one. Do you see how the last one had X on top over here? But now X is on the bottom over here? Okay, so that you solve this differently. This is very, very, very important that you know how to solve this, okay? Now, I'm going to show you a shortcut. The, the way to solve this is, is two steps. You would have to multiply x on both sides to get it out of the denominator, and then you would have to divide by sine 60 on both sides to move it to the right side, okay? Now, you can do those two steps in one simple step, okay? So whenever you see x on the bottom of a fraction, only on the bottom, here's the little trick. This whole thing can switch a roux with x. Okay? When you multiply by x and divide by sine 60, when you do that, they basically just switch places. Okay? So here's what I mean. x is now traveling over here to the left side by itself, which is great. Okay? On the right-hand side, 10 stays on the top. That's very important. But on the bottom, we have sine 60. Not just 60, not just sine, but sine 60 goes to the bottom. All right. So my fraction. So again, this is not multiplying now. This is dividing. It's 10 divided by sine 60. That's what I need to type into my calculator. All right. So let's go do that. 10 divided by sine 60. 10 divided sine 60. Now do you see how it's a fraction? Everything's great. Hit enter. And I got 11.55. It's going to round. The 7 makes a full round up. 11.55. All right. That's my answer. Yeah, that's an ugly 5. It is what it is. All right. So do you see how we set it up? We label OHA, we cross one out, we pick the trig, we set it up, and then we solve for X. That's how you do it every time, okay? Now we're going to do four more examples, and I might move a little bit quicker, but I want you to see how to solve when X is on top and X is on bottom for the rest of these problems, okay? Now over here it says use the cosine function. So if you remember, so ka toa, cosine is A over H, right? So, once again, let's do this, okay? On this one, here's my starting angle. Remember, I always label O, H, and A. So starting at 55, O is across, opposite. H is across from 90. And then A is the leftover adjacent side. Now, this one's a little different. Which side has nothing labeled on it? Well, I see A has an X, 25.5 has an H. But O has nothing, okay? So if I remember, so which ones 
have O, because those got to get, I got to get rid of the O's because I got nothing for O. So no O means no tangent, and no O means no sine. So I have to use Ka. C stands for cosine. So I'm going to write COS, that's cosine. Okay. Now, cosine, what's my angle? So I started right here at 55 equals cosine is a over h. So what's a? x. What's h? 25.5. So x over 25.5. Okay. Now, if we're solving for x on top, we get rid of that denominator on the bottom of the fraction. We get rid of dividing by multiplying. So times 25.5 will eliminate those 25.5s. And if I do it on the right side, I do it on the left side. Times 25.5. Okay. So when I rewrite this, x equals cosine 55 times 25.5. Okay. Now that I have x equals by itself, it's time to solve. It's time to just type it in the calculator. Cosine 55 times 25.5. Oops, let me back that up. Yeah, it helps to end the parentheses. Times 25. All right, and I got 14.6. Three, because that six makes that three, that two round up to three. Fourteen point six three. All right, and that's the missing side length that I just found out right here. Okay. All right, let's do it again over here. So, once again, what's my starting angle? Sixty-five point five. Sorry, 65. <laughs> and now I'm going to label O, H, and A. So you, you go opposite first, label an O. Across from 90, you label an H. And then the, miss, the leftover is A adjacent. Now, once we're here, you want to cross one out. Now, A has a number, H has an X, so O is missing. Okay? And once again, if I'm thinking of so, ka, toa, which ones have O that I need to get rid of? Get rid of tangent, get rid of sine. The only one that has A and H is Ka, cosine, right? All right, so let's write this out. Cosine, and then what's the angle? 65 equals A over H. So it's gonna be 21 over X. Now I hope you remember the little trick I taught you, okay? If X is on the bottom, you switch it with the entire part of the left side of the equation. So all of this is going to switch with x. So I'm going to get x on the left equals 21 stays on top. Cosine 65 goes to the bottom. Now can you type that in? 21 over cosine 65. Let's do that. 21 21 over cosine 65. And I got 49.69. Cool. We just got two more, and we'll do this a little bit quicker. The last two, remember, tan is toa o over a. So let's do this a little bit quicker. Starting at this angle. We label the opposite. Across from the 90 is the hypotenuse. And the leftover is the adjacent. I don't have an H, right? So if I'm remembering, so, ka, uh, to, uh, which one does not have an H? Sine, cosine have an H. So toa, uh, this is going to be a tan problem, tangent. The angle is 58. And that equals O over A, X over 9. To get rid of a divide by 9, you multiply by 9. 
on both sides. So remember, x equals tan 58 times 9. Let's go to the calculator again. Tan 58 times 9. And that gives me 14.40. All right. Last problem. Starting at this angle, 24, we have an O. Across from the 90, we have an H. And then the last one is an A. H has nothing on it. Cross that out. And remember, if there's no H, it's going to be Toa. So tan, the angle is 24, equals O over A. 1 over X. Remember the trick. X is on the bottom. Switcheroo with X and the left side. So X goes to the left. 41 stays on top, tan 24 on the bottom. Let's type that in, 41 over tan 24. And we get 92.09 when you round. All right, that's how you do trigonometry, okay? That's how you find a missing side link using trig, but you have to use the Desmos calculator a scientific calculator, and you have to be in degrees mode. All right? I hope this helps.